Hello, Nina. Hi there. Yes, the week ahead is looking pretty grey, unsettled, and temperatures really disappointing. Of course, July so far has been particularly wet. Portland in Dorset has had nearly three times the July average already. That rain quite widespread across England, Wales and southern Scotland, but it hasn't been the case for the Northern and the Western Isles, parts of the Highlands. Here, July has been particularly dry, just five millimetres in Orkney. Now, that's less than 10% of the July average. But as I mentioned, the week ahead, there is more rain around and temperatures will strike. It's not been that warm this afternoon. As we look to this evening, we've still got a few showers dotted around, maybe some brightness to finish off the day across parts of Wales with temperatures in the mid-teens. Still quite cloudy across Northern Ireland with one or two showers dotted around here. Some brightness across the northwest of Scotland, but a fairly brisk northwesterly breeze that's keeping temperatures down. Cloudier skies through the central lowlands, parts of Dumfries and Galloway, with some patchy rain. Now, at the moment, we've got some heavy showers across northern England, stretching down into Lincolnshire. Still, some of those downpours with us this evening. Quite a scattering of showers for East Anglia in the southeast corner. Parts of Kent and Sussex will be dry with perhaps a little bit of brightness to finish off the day. But again, cloudier down across the areas of South Devon and Cornwall where we'll see more showers over the next couple of hours. Tonight, those showers will stay with us. And in fact, at times, they might turn out to be quite heavy, particularly later on in the night through parts of the South Midlands. North East Scotland will see some thicker cloud and some persistent rain. With a lot of cloud across the country, it's not going to be cold to begin Tuesday morning with temperatures in double figures. As we go through the day, though, that cloud tends to keep temperatures down. There'll be more showers through the afternoon. Some of them could be heavy and thundery, especially across eastern areas. North East Scotland still underneath that cloud and rain. And here it's going to feel quite cool at just 12 degrees in Aberdeen. Further south, where we do get a little bit of brightness, we might just about manage 17 or 18. On Wednesday, there is more, yet more rain to contend with. We're looking at some showers, which could be heavy and thundery across eastern areas, maybe a little bit drier and brighter to the southwest corner, but a breezy day for all of us. Again, temperatures 12 to 13 for parts of Scotland, for Northern Ireland, England and Wales, 17 or 18. Now, for the end of the week, we're looking back out to the Atlantic. As low pressure systems develop, that is set to bring with it more rain, really centred across parts of England and Wales through Thursday and Friday. We do need to keep an eye on the forecast, given the rain that we have already had. If you can take any more weather, you can always take a look online. But that's all from me for now. And Nina is back again. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Ben, thank you very much. Good afternoon. We saw fairly cloudy skies in Angles. That's quite a typical scene across parts of the country. This evening, a lot of that cloud is still with us and yet more showers. Some really quite heavy showers currently across parts of northern England, Yorkshire and Lincolnshire. They'll last for the next couple of hours and then we start to watch out for a cluster of heavy showers developing across southwest England, moving into the Midlands by the end of the night. Some rain developing for northeast Scotland, but at least it's not going to be particularly cold to begin Tuesday morning. But Tuesday is going to be another very overcast day. There'll be further showers. Some of them could be heavy and thundery, especially across eastern parts of the country. Northeast Scotland is going to stay underneath that area of cloud and rain. Temperatures as a result just 12 degrees in Aberdeen. Further south, they're disappointing for the time of year, 17 or 18. Similar temperatures take us into Wednesday's forecast where we'll see yet more showers, especially across eastern areas, with that area of cloud and rain still quite stubborn to clear away from northeast Scotland. We might just need to keep an eye on that one. You get more weather details online or Nick Miller will be with you in half an hour.